What's up, everybody? Brett here with Double Shots. Happy Monday. I am doing a special request for a couple people that commented in our last video that was on YouTube TV. And then we also had somebody that wanted a side-by-side -side view of each of these uh, uh, between YouTube TV and Fubo TV and to give my recommendation. So I appreciate that. Uh, keep in mind as far as off of things, I am not being paid by YouTube TV or Fubo TV for doing this video. I am doing it based off my honest own review, opinion of using the services and everything from there. So if you like our channel, subscribe to it. If there's something you want to see, comment below. We'll try to fulfill that for you and go from there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into everything. So we had somebody ask us side by side, which one do I think is better between YouTube TV and Fubo TV? They both have many advantages first and foremost. Number one, they're a streaming service. So you're going to have to have a ISP, Internet Service Provider, to be able to use them. Next off, as far as off of things, they both have different plans, different things that come involved with it. One thing when you do do streaming to offset that and everything is you do need, I always say, an ample bandwidth to be able to stream. Simply because of a couple things, first and foremost. You can stream on numerous devices at the same time, and then all your other devices that you have on your internet. So I usually recommend that you have a solid internet uh, going to it. Whether you're streaming on an Apple TV, a Roku TV, a uh, uh, Xbox, or your phone, making sure that it has enough to be able to handle that and go from there. So what you are watching right now is on Fubo TV. So we'll start on start off on the Fubo TV side. Here's what I love about Fubo TV first and foremost. They have two different plans. They have a family plan and they have a, an elite plan. So these are two different plans that you have. Prices are different as well too, keep in mind. So on your family plan, it's what it is. Uh, you get 114 channels. You get your locals built in, depending on market. You get what's called Cloud DVR, which gives you 250 hours of Cloud DVR storage that you can take with you. You have Family Share that works on three screens. So you can have three screens stream simultaneously at the same time, whether you want it on a television, whether you want it on your tablet or your phone. Uh, going from there, Android, Apple, it supports uh, Roku. I believe they also have an Xbox app as well, too, plus your phone as well, too. So that's kind of a nice thing as far as off of it. And again, it gives an ample amount of sports, entertainment, lifestyle, your classics kind of going from there. Then if you bump up to their elite plan, which is pretty much their cream of everything that they have. I mean, it gives you everything, 159 channels. It gives you your Fubo Extra, which is like your game show network, a couple extras that it will, I'll show on to here, and your Cloud DVR goes up to a 1,000 hours of Cloud DVR storage. So it doesn't give you unlimited like YouTube TV does, but a 1,000 hours of DVR, DVR storage, that's a lot. And then you are able to share your uh, the family share of three screens, goes up to five screens. So you can go up to five different devices simultaneously at the same time. You can even use it. Uh, they give you an extra to be able to use on your phone if you bring it out of there to be able to stream. And you can carry everything with you. But let's go ahead and break down and go from their menu. I love their interface. You have your home. I like how they break down sports. I like how they break down shows. I like how they break down movies. And then you go to your guide. This shows you an alphabetical order. You can do it that way. You can go by alphabetical order, all channels, networks, live TV. Uh, you can filter it by all channels, just added, sports, and go from there. Local, and so you do. You have a big guide of it. You can save your favorites on here. So that way when you wake up, you go to it, you know what you're picking first. And I just did this as an example. So I put Hallmark Channel at the top of everything. I put Fox 2 because that's our home market I'm in. TLC, 
because my uh, wife loves to watch TLC. So pretty much as far as off the things, you can go down the list there. But here's some of the channels you get your locals. Fox 2, depending on market, again, I'm saying that, everybody. I get uh, Fox 2 Camo V, Fox 4K. So if you have a 4K television, uh, you are able to go ahead and you're able to get that and go from there. Keep in mind, I've seen very limited of the 4K content. As much as they sell it, there is 4K content, but it's very, very limited. 4K is, and I'm going to be honest with any provider right now, to me it's a joke. Any provider you go with that's advertising 4K, it's hard to get. I've had a, a, a dish on my roof that advertised 4K, but then I would have to upgrade the receiver plus the hopper and kind of go from there. And then I would also have to upgrade my, uh, my dish to a different uh, DMB line and everything and go from there. So to me, it, it does. It comes with a lot of extras. I have seen the 4K content. It's very limited. I don't rely on 4K. So if you're relying on 4K for either of them, strictly forget about it. You're not really going to see a lot of that going on there. But pretty much as far as off things, there are things like college football that have been in 4K, and it is a nice picture. But my locals right there, ESPN, ESPN2, FS1, FS1 right there, NBC, SN. ESPN News, FS2, CBS Sports Network, then you have your Univision, BN Sports, NFL Network, NBA TV, MLB Network, NHL Network, Golf, Tennis, ESPNU, Pac-10 Big, MSNBC, so you do get some of your, your Fox News channels, so your news, if you want to see any of that, BBC World News, Newsmax, Cheddar, the Weather Channel, so you get weather involved with it. AccuWeather, Local Now, your HGTV Do It Yourself Network, Food Network, Cooking Taste Mate, FYI, Travel, Disney, your Disney XD, Mick Jr. Now keep in mind, I do have the upgraded package on this as well too. So a lot of these channels that I'm in naming, I'm in the Elite. Some of the channels that I'm naming are in the Elite. E A and E, AMC, AHC. Uh, Animal Planet, BET, Bravo's, Country Music, South Park. Hilarious people, South Park on. Comet TV, Destination America, uh, Family, Life, E, Freeform, Fubo TV Network, Fuse, FX, Game Show Network, Hallmark, Hall History Channel, ID, IFC, Law and Crime, Lifetime Movie Network, Logo, National Geographic, Net Geo Wild, Sorry that I'm going down this list. I want to let everybody kind of see. Pop TV, Smithsonian, Sundance, TV Land. I have Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, as well as Hallmark Drama involved as well, too, but those are at the top. Then you go down Stadium. So you get an ample amount of, as you can tell, a lot of channels. You get your sports. You get your locals. You get your news. You get your lifestyle. You get your lifetime. You get your... Uh, your uh, Heartland channels, as they would call it, with the Hallmark. But this is a lot of the stuff that you do get with them, and it works great. Uh, it, honestly, to tell you the truth, for me, I love it. Uh, it's what I it's what I honestly use daily. There's the uh, integration as far as off of it. So when switching channel to channel, you, you, you really do. You have a seamless integration. It's quick to go ahead and get out there. Uh, it's awesome. I love it. And then, as far as off of things going from there, let's go ahead and go back up to our guide to our menu. Then you have your recordings right here. You have your recorded, your scheduled. It shows you how much space you have left. If you have any scheduled, continue watching. So you can watch uh, shows that you've been in the middle of watching with and everything kind of going from there. And then you go back to your guide, your movies. Here's one thing, though, that I really like about... Uh, and let me get into it. Here's one thing I really like about Fubo that really takes a lot going on. All right, so let's say I want to watch, yeah, let's say I want to watch Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, but there's uh, something else I want to watch too. Let's say I want to watch the Drew Barrymore show. So you can watch in multi. 
That's how you also record people. I will show you how you record it and kind of go from there. And so it's very easy to use it. But now let's get back to one of my favorites. This is a no-brainer for me. What watch a multi-view. So here I go. I have my Hallmark channel here, and then I have this channel here. So if I want to go into this and watch it, I can go in here, watch that. Now, let me go ahead and do that. Now, let's say I want to watch another channel. Let's say let's see here. Uh, pick me something, Dylan. Pick me something. NFL Network, the aftermath. Let's say I want to watch something else there. So now I'm watching three. Let's say I want to watch something else. Let's say I want to watch the weather because I see all that. Now I have four screens playing at one time. Make sure your internet solid is rock. Because, uh, and when I say rock with it, make sure it, it, it's got an ample bandwidth. Because I, I use this all the time. But I, there's multiple shows that I like to watch sometimes. And I have it like this. And it works great. I have not had a flaw with it. But let's say I, I want to be able to watch, let's say my kid or my wife wants to watch her Hallmark. I want to see some sports. We want to see some news and everything is, or some weather with it. And I want to see my local channel with it, kind of going from there. You're able to do that with Fubo TV. This is one of the things that I really, really like. So, yeah, am I going to do this all the time? Not necessarily. But it really is kind of cool to have. It's a great feature to have. Uh, kind of going from there, just because it gives you that added flexibility where you are able to watch each of those shows at the same time. And now keep in mind, there's a little white outline box. When it shows that, and that highlight, that white outline box, that's what channel you're going to hear the voice for. So you're not going to hear the voice for any of these unless you have it highlighted to it and going from there. Now let's say I want to get rid of that channel. Remove channel, or you can change channel. And then on top of that, I could go ahead and I could make it uh, I could make it a different channel and go from there. And look how easy that was to go ahead and deal with it. So it really does work very well. I'm going to go ahead and remove channels now. I'm going to remove this channel. And then we're going to go back. We're going to remove this channel. And then we're going to go ahead and go into here. The picture quality is excellent, in my opinion, on it. You can pause as well, too. Um, uh, picture quality is excellent, in my opinion, off of everything that I've seen. The picture quality is very comparable to YouTube TV as well. I've never, again, had a problem with either of the providers. Fubo TV is my network that I use. I love them. And for those reasons, and again... They have, they do, they have those two plans, they have the family plan, and they have the elite plan. Now there is a differential in price, so those are things you have to look look at as well too, but they do include more features that come involved with it. Did I change the channel again? I think uh, no. But pretty much as far as off of it, and they do have extras you can add as well too, so it's all a la carte. The nice thing about it as well too is you're not, you're, look at this, when I go through my guide, Regardless of these channels, I'm not finding infomercial channels. So you're paying for what you get. Every channel here is what you get and what you're paying for. So you're not paying extra money to go for our infomercial channel and go from there. But it's really seamless. Again, going from one to another and kind of going from there. So that's Fubo TV for you. Now I'm going to back out of this and we're going to go to... YouTube TV. And let's go down to YouTube TV right here for you. And here is YouTube TV. When we log in, let's go to our live. Now that's where you're going to find your interface for your live access. Now, there's a price plan that's set for, for YouTube TV. And you get 85 plus channels is what they say. Your locals, I always say depending on market. So on both of those, you do not need, you do not need the over-the-air antenna. Unlimited cloud DVR storage, so they have that in the in, in, in the bank there. That is a big benefit for YouTube TV right there for you, um, uh, kind of going from there. So you get unlimited cloud storage. So 
no matter what, Infinity, you can record. So with Fubo TV, you have that 1,000 that you go up to, and it's usable, as you can tell. Uh, but again, it, it works for me. But anyway, as far as Unlimited, which is really, really nice to have, you get the Unlimited Cloud DVR stores. You get three streams, and uh, I was looking it up as far as off of things. You can share your membership with up to five people at no extra cost. So if I wanted to share it with my friends, I could share the membership that I have with them, and they could use the YouTube account. So pretty much, it's one bill. It would be the price for up to five people, no extra cost. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some more clarification into that, but you get three streams, and that's how it covers everything as far as off of it. So you can stream on up to three devices at one time simultaneously. Apple TV, uh, Roku devices, your, uh, I, your uh, tablets, uh, Apple and Android phones, and other devices as well, too. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the channels. Fox, CBS, ABC, NBC, PBS, TV, TBS, TNT, ESPN, ESPN2, ACCN Network, ESPNU, ESPN News, FS1, FS2, NBCSN, MLB Network, NBA TV, Network, N NFL Network, Big Ten, uh, CBS Sports Network, Golf, Olympic Channel. So there you go. You do get some sports. I think that as far as when you add up everything, you can go with the higher package from YouTube T or from Fubo TV. You get more. Disney, Disney Junior, Disney XD, PBS, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. So you do get your channels as far as with that for your uh, for kids. And then you have your AMC for Entertainment, BBC America, BET, CMT, Freeform, FX. Oh, liar, liar there. I like that show. FXX, FXM, IFC, uh, VH1, Paramount, Pop, True TV, USA, Net Geo Wild, Animal Planet, Discovery, Sci-Fi, Travel Channel, TV Land, Court TV, E, HGTV, ID. So you have your crime suspense as well too with it. Own Network, Oxygen Network, TLC, uh, Wii TV, News Life, Cheddar, CNBC, CNN. That's one that is not with Fubo TV. Comet TV, Cozy TV, Epics is an add-on that I did actually on this one. So that's an add-on, so you don't get that with the regular Sundance TV. But let's go ahead and go back up here and go to a channel. Uh, let's go to... Uh, Sorry it's taken me so long here. Let's go ahead and go to HGTV. This is where that is. Picture quality is great on it as well, too. Pictures, uh, I mean, the quality of it is awesome. The streaming on it is excellent. Then I'm able to go ahead, come out of here. And let's say I want to watch Ghost Adventures. I go from here. Now, this is the way you record uh, from, from uh, them. So let's say right here that plus button you add to library so now if I want to record it adds these shows to my library now I did a video over it yesterday so I'm gonna back out of this quickly I'm gonna go up to my home to my library here here's the shows that I have in my library right now I recorded dumb and dumber last night Let's go ahead and do that. Watch now. And voila. There that is and everything. So it's easy. It's able to get into. I'm not as big. I, I like the user interface to it. I really do. But to me, it's not broke down as good uh, as Fubo TV's interfaces. I think... And that's the biggest thing. The interface of Fubo TV is really plain and simple and everything going from there. As to me, this is very good as well, too. Now, let's say I want to go watch College Football Live here for... There we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to watch that. So, it works very, very well. Again, the picture quality, it streams very well as well. You're going to want to make sure you have 
ample internet service provider to be able to handle it. Couple of things that you miss out on, there is no multi-view with YouTube TV, so I can't watch and then you have your quality. I can't watch multiple side by side. And is it a deal breaker for me? No, not necessarily. But it is a sweetened feature that you have when you go on to things as well, too. Seeing some of the extras, yeah, it does come at a price, I think, sometimes, too. So there's a lot to compare when you go on base between YouTube TV and you go between uh, Fubo TV. They are both great uh, providers. Cloud storage, I like the idea of the uh, unlimited cloud storage. YouTube TV, they've won that... It lacks the Heartland pack, so if you do enjoy those Hallmark movies, and the reason I put those up there is because some people do like those channels and everything. There are some people that like those channels and like that, and so it is a benefit to have. It lacks that on YouTube TV. It is sports generated and news generated. It's got your kid programming as well, too. It's got your locals. It lacks the weather channel, which I'm not sure if you really need the weather channel or not, but some people like to watch the weather channel. I like to watch it just because uh, Jim Cantori is on it. But pretty much as far as off of things going from there, it, there's features that it lacks that Fubo TV doesn't have. As well, Fubo TV lacks some things that... You would like to see for the price that you pay, such as the unlimited cloud DVR storage. But if that doesn't matter to you as far as off of things, it works good for you. The, it, it, the biggest thing is that the benefits have to come down to what you want, what you're wanting to pay, and go from there. The nice thing about both of these providers, you don't have to worry about some cable guy coming in, installing it. It works immediately after you set up the account. So now here's the difference between this and a cable provider. First and foremost, you're streaming this. So you're not running a coaxial cable to a device. You're either streaming it via a local, in, a local LAN cable or wireless, depending on what device you do have. Next off, you don't have to worry about expensive uh, installation, cable box rental fees, any of that. So you score on both of those by not having to pay those extras right there off the back. You don't have to worry about a satellite dish being mounted on your roof. And if it rains outside... Possibly your internet, or, or, or your, uh, not your internet, but your dish going out and everything. And the nice thing is, you can take all that with you. So these channels that you're watching, regardless of Fubo TV or YouTube TV, you can take them with you. You can take your DVR with you. You can go from there with it. Uh, but the next thing as far as off of it is, is also, there's no annual contract. So let's say one month you like YouTube TV, but then you say, hey... I really want some of the features, or I want some more of those extra channels that Fubo TV offers, or vice versa. You can constantly switch. You don't break a contract. Keep in mind, you prepay for your services in advance. So the day you sign up, you're going to have that bill cycle, and you pay for it monthly on that date. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, you, you don't pay your bill, they will cancel out your service and go from there. As compared to your postpaid provider, Usually you have to call to cancel, termination fees as well. They give you some lead way on, you know, paying your bill. Usually maybe a little grace period before they disconnect services as compared to. But that's the difference between prepaid, postpaid. Those are two different things kind of going on there. Now, you want my honest opinion? Drum roll. If somebody will give me drum roll on this and everything as far as off of it. When it comes down to it, for me, myself, and I... Here's what I pick, and this is between, let me back out of here, between AT&T TV, which I haven't done, Spectrum TV, me, I have my Fubo TV, and I love my Fubo TV. I don't think I'll switch from Fubo TV anytime soon, just because it has the features. Granted, I am paying a couple dollars more, but I'm getting my channels that I want, and it's giving me a mixture of everything that I want. And so it's given me everything that I need between sports, my locals, uh, the DVR storage. I don't think I'm, I mean, yeah, unlimited sounds awesome, but as you can tell, I'm only 9% full on my 1,000. I don't foresee myself having that many uh, uh, devices or that many 
things done. 250 hours of cloud storage is a great ample amount as well, too. Do you really watch the movie over and over? Those are some of the things that I I I look at for me. The multi view, that was the uh, that was a biggie for me as well, too, being able to do that. Just because there's the options. I like how the record button is just right there. It's plain, it's simple as compared to it's an add to the library. And keep in mind on the add to the library on YouTube TV, it records the whole series. So if you just want one episode compared to whatever, then you have to weed and feed and go in there and do that as compared to that. Another thing, I can select this to be a favorite channel. So if I select ESPN to be a favorite channel, you've added ESPN to your favorites. So guess what? When I go up to my guide here now, guess what shows up now? ESPN. So all my favorite channels right there are showing up right there for you. Then let's go ahead and let's go down to let's go to ah. let's go ahead and watch some hockey. The United States versus Slovakia. So picture quality again, it's great. It loads quick. Again, ample bandwidth is what you're going to want to have with it. Another nice thing. Uh, let me go ahead and get to that. It goes there. Let's say I want to go ahead and watch in multi-view. There we go. Let's say I want to watch that. And I want to watch Hallmark Channel at the same time. There I go. So there's no end to the possibility. It's a benefit for everyone. Me, myself, and I, I, I give Fubo TV the A plus of everything. And don't get me wrong, YouTube TV is great. If Fubo, if I did not have Fubo TV, I would probably back up and go to YouTube TV as my secondary and everything. But Fubo TV, honest opinion, gets a win for my book. That's who I use on a daily basis and go from there. YouTube TV, you would be my second pick out of all the streaming services that are on the market right now if Fubo TV was not there. So I hope this video does good. And remember another thing. It comes down to what benefits you. Most of these companies give you a certain time on a free trial. So I always recommend utilize that free trial because that gets your feet wet into seeing what you like and go from there. Uh, some of them give you, uh, I know Fubo tries to give like a seven day uh, free trial. You can utilize off of that. YouTube TV gives you a free trial. Sling gives you a free trial. Uh, I, I think like a so, and they give you so long. But remember, you have to put a debit or credit card on file to be able to use those companies. So remember, if you're going to cancel, you have to cancel pretty quick because that last day, that hour by hour that they count up, they go in there and they'll charge that card. But it's a great way to find out if they work. Again, I think they all have benefits simply because of the fact of, number one, you don't have to worry about a cable man coming in. It's easy to hook up. It uh, goes right to your TV. And if you decide you want to move your TV next month to a different part of your room, you don't have to worry if you have enough coaxial cable to move it. And go from there. And here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the hockey. Let's go ahead and remove the Hallmark Channel. And let's go ahead and watch our sports right here and everything. And look at that. So I hope this video was good. Again, Fubo and my TV out of the choice between YouTube TV and Fubo TV, YouTube TV would be my secondary. Fubo TV gets my vote, winner, game, set, match. I think they have everything that I need and I want. I hope this video was beneficial to you, everybody, and I will see you all again soon.